talks about using tree diagrams and the counting principle in order to come up with all the possibilities. Okay, so you'll be doing problems like say, um, say I'm going to a pizza place and I have the option of ordering three sizes of pizza, large, medium, or small. Okay, so I've got those three options. Um, in addition to that, I have the option of cheese or extra cheese. So I could just have regular cheese or extra cheese. Okay? And then on top of that, I have a choice of toppings. I could have pepperoni, I could have hamburger, and I don't know. Let's do anchovies. I could have anchovies. All right, yummy. Okay, so here I've got. I'm talking about three different things. I've got sizes, I've got basically the amount of cheese, and then I've got other toppings. Okay? So in this section, we're going to discuss what all the possibilities are. How many, all the possible outcomes is the word that you use. Okay? How many possibilities, you know, exist in this? Well, there's two ways you could solve this. You could do a tree diagram or you could use the counting principle. All right, let me go ahead and show you the tree diagram um, process first. Okay, I'm going to scoot this over. I'm not sure we can still see that. Okay, so we'll start at the beginning. We've got the three sizes. Okay, so I've got my large. I've got my medium. I'm going to spread them out a little bit, and you'll see why in a minute. And... I've got my small, okay? Let's work over to the next section, okay? So with my large, in terms of cheese, well, I could have regular cheese and I could have extra cheese, okay? So with just the large and, and cheese, I have one, two possibilities, okay? The same thing with the medium. I could get a medium and I'm adding those branches. It's called the tree diagram because we keep adding branches as we add more outcomes. If I could have a medium with regular cheese or extra cheese, and the same thing with small. I could have a small with regular cheese or extra cheese. Okay, so we've added a branch here just considering the amount of cheese. Okay, now we also have to factor in toppings. Okay, well, I could have a large cheese pizza. Well, what toppings? Well, I've got pepperoni, or I could have hamburger, or I could have anchovies. Okay, just a little closer so you can see. Okay, so right off the bat, I have one, two, three options with the large regular cheese. Okay, it'll be the same thing with the extra cheese. I could have a large extra cheese with pepperoni, hamburger, and anchovies, okay? So in terms of if I were to order a large pizza, I have one, two, three, four, five, six possible outcomes of different types of pizzas I could get, okay? We'll do the same thing with the medium, now cheese. I could get cheese pepperoni, cheese hamburger, cheese anchovies, okay? Keep going down. I could get medium extra cheese with pepperoni, hamburger, and anchovies. Okay, I apparently should have spaced this out a little better. All right, I could get a small cheese with pepperoni, hamburger, and anchovies. And then the same thing, I could do a small, <laughs> small pepperoni, hamburger, and anchovies. All right, so let's go down a little bit so you can see it all. Okay, so I have made my tree diagram listing all of the possible outcomes of different types of pizzas I can order. Okay, so if the question is, well, how, if, if we've got those different things, how many outcomes are there? Well, you count the furthest out branches. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 outcomes are possible. Okay? All right, so that is using the tree diagram method. Okay, it takes a little bit, takes a little bit of space. Okay, the other method that you could use to figure this out is actually my preferred method because it's a little quicker. 
um, it's called the counting principle. All right, so back to our options. All right, so with this, we have three options. Again, we've got sizes, we've got amounts of cheese, and we've got toppings, okay? So with the counting principle, it tells you, it says that, okay, well, we need to consider all the options. How many options are there for the different categories? Well, sizes, how many options do I have? Well, I've got large, medium, small, okay? I have three options. I'm gonna write the three, okay? Now for different types of cheese or different amounts of cheese. How many options do I have? Well, I have cheese or extra cheese or extra cheese. I've got two options. Okay, toppings. Well, how many options? One, two, three, three. Okay, the counting principle basically has you list or write the number of options for each thing and then just multiply across. Two, three times two is six, six times three is 18. I have 18 possible outcomes. And if you remember with the tree diagram, once we listed them all, we got 18 as well. So two different ways to, say, um, to solve the same type of problem. Okay, let's work through one more example with both the tree diagram because you will be expected to know how to set, make, create a tree diagram and also the counting principle. All right, let's, let's do, I have, um, I have two shirts. All right, I have a red shirt and a blue shirt. Okay, with those shirts, I have the option to wear um, either my jeans, my, oh my gosh, I can't even think of like clothes. Um, I have the option to wear jeans, shorts, or pants, or like khaki pants. Do K for khaki, okay? And then in addition to that, in terms of shoes, I have the option to wear um, flip-flops or tennis shoes, okay? So we've got shirts, first option. Pants is the second choice, and then shoes, okay? So with all of these things listed, how many total outcomes are possible? Okay, well, we'll just start with the first thing um, to start us off. So we'll do shirts. I've got a red shirt, and I've got a blue shirt. Okay, let's get this over a little bit again. Okay, so... I've got my shirt, so let's go over to the next category. We've got pants, okay? So we'll start making our branches. I could have a red shirt with jeans. I could have a red shirt with shorts, and I could have a red shirt with khaki, okay? And then we would do the same thing with blue. I could have a blue shirt with jeans, blue shirt with shorts, and blue shirts with khakis, okay? Um, and then I'm going to add shoes. Okay, so we're gonna add branches onto those last ones. I could have a red shirt with jeans and flip-flops, or I could have a red shirt and jeans with tennis shoes. Okay, all right, and we'll just keep going. Red shirt, um, shorts, flip-flops, tennis shoes, go down the khakis, flip-flops, tennis shoes. Okay, now do they basically do the exact same thing with the blue. Let's get you a little closer here. Okay, so again, I'm just listing all of the possible outcomes. Okay, um, I could have blue shirt, jeans, tennis shoes, or flip-flops, tennis shoes. Okay, and then same thing, continue. And then continue. All right, so with this, um, how many possible outcomes are there? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 12 possible outfits I could make with that of those different items of clothing. Okay, now you might also see questions um, um, with the tree diagrams. They may ha ask you a question like, well, how many possibilities are there with me wearing um, jeans? Okay, how many possibilities are there if I'm just going to, if I am determined to wear jeans? Well, then I would have to look well, jeans, okay, here. So how many branches did I have off the jeans? One, two, I have jeans down here, three, four. There's four possibilities or four outcomes if I were to choose to wear jeans, okay? Um, and they may ask you, you know, they'll probably ask you with the tree diagrams, just a couple different questions about where you'd have to kind of look and see how many other outcomes are within here um, 
or possible. All right, so that's the tree diagram method. All right, let's go over here and do the counting principle. All right, so we're looking at our options. Shirts, okay, how many options do I have? Red and blue, that's two options. Okay, pants, well, how many options? Jeans, shorts, and khakis, one, two, three, three options. Shoes, flip-flops or tennis shoes, two options. Okay, remember, list all the number of, or the number of um, items and then multiply across. Two times three, six, six times two, 12. Okay, still get the, the correct number of outcomes. All right, so good luck on your worksheet.